Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Welcome to the class. Great, thank you. Nice, very good. We're gonna wait just a couple of minutes so the other people come to the class. Exactly. Okay, everybody, welcome to the class. We are going to start today. So, uh, well, the first thing that we always do is to check about the platform. So, this is the class of yesterday, so you can check it already online. And this is the class of today. Remember that you should be doing the homework 101 and also the 1.3. This is the one for today, okay? So we are going to check what will be the, the option according to this. And uh, for the class of today, we have the question already at the bottom. So here is the question for today, okay? So now we are going to check. We're gonna check the attendance. Okay, let's see. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Ana Selmi Chavez. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez de Rivas. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta. Present teacher. Ok. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good evening, present. Good evening. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Zulma Rosaura López García. 
present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Flor de María. Yes, Car present, present. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Okay, so we are going to start the class of today. Yesterday we started about talking about e-commerce. Of course, today we are going to continue with that. So e-business concepts. Uh, we were checking about e-commerce, what is that? But today we're going to check about the difference between e-commerce and e-business. So it's very similar, but it's not the same. Uh, Walter Morales, could you please read the first one, e-commerce? Okay, teacher, e-commerce, the exchange or exchange. In exchange, the chain or Buying in a selling is good and service the electronic means. By electronic means, good. So uh, this is e-commerce, the exchange or buying and selling of goods and services by electronic means. So the first question is, what is exchange? Do you remember? Exchange. Exchange. What is that? It's a like interchange. Very good. When you give something and receive something else, right? That is an exchange. So e-commerce is the exchange, exchange or buying and selling of goods and services by electronic means. So is the way for you to do a transaction with an electronic way, right? Online, anything that is online. Uh, good. Osmin, could you please read e-business? It's okay, teacher. Uh, business. The use is information in the communication technology to perform the business function. Very good. So e-business is the use of information and communication technologies to perform business functions. So do you see the difference? In e-commerce, it's just the exchange buying and selling but in e-business we use information and communication technologies so we analyze what is happening we identify the best way for us to do something so we perform many things not only the exchange but many other things so the, go ahead uh, can you give an example, please? Uh, yes, e-commerce is, for example, when uh, you, well, for example, when you go to the marketplace and you ask, do you have these shoes? And somebody says, yes, okay, I want those tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow you are going to have those. Yeah. That is just an exchange. But in an e-business, you have a company. And in your company, you have a website. And people go there into the website and they click and purchase things and you analyze what time the most of the people purchase things, what colors are um, more popular. So there are many things involved. In, in that case, teacher, uh, e-business is more formal. E-business has more things. So e-commerce is just the exchange online. Mm -hmm. A business is the analysis mm -hmm. of many things, not only the exchange. The exchange is one thing, mm -hmm. but you do many other things. Okay. Somebody wa was go ahead. So what? You're welcome. Somebody was going to say something else. I don't know. Okay. So let's move on. Uh, okay, again, this is for us to check more differences between e-commerce and e-business. Susana, could you please read the first one, e-commerce? Okay, teacher. 
E-commerce describes the process of buying, selling, transferring, or exchange products, services, and or information via via via, via computer networks, including the internet. Very internet. good. Internet, yeah. So e-commerce is the buying, selling, transferring, or exchanging products, services, or information via computer networks, including the internet. So is the exchange, okay? Let's check again about e-business. Um, Lourdes, could you please read about e-business? Okay. E-business refers to broader definition of e-commerce, not just the buying and selling of goods and services, but also servicing customers, collaborating with business partners, conducting e-learning and processing electronic transactions. Very Can good. Continue? I know that will be it. Okay. So I believe here is a little bit more clear. So, for example, in the first one is the exchange. In the second one, it's a broader. So it's bigger. It's not only the exchange, uh, it's also servicing customers. So, customer satisfaction. Are you happy? Do you believe that we can improve? Uh, things like that collaborating with business partners. So you will, will help other companies. You will work with uh, retailers, wholesalers, people that will help you and you will help them in the business conducting e-learning. So for example, you will have training about your products and services or anything related with your business and processing electronic transactions. So a business is more, is also the way for uh, us to analyze information. So happy, we have happy customers at the end. E-commerce is e just- business is more complex. Exactly. Very good. So okay. e-business and e-commerce are similar, but not the same, okay? Good. And it says here, uh, oops, electronic commerce can take several forms, depending on the degree of digitization, the transformation from physical to digital. So that is, that is true. I mean, depending on your, your business and the way that you want the business to move, you, uh, the, the company will be in different ways. The degree of digitization relates to the product or service that is sold, depending on the process and the delivery agent or intermediary. So of course the product is going to, it's not the same to sell fruits than to sell shirts, than to sell cars online, right? It's totally different. The process, I mean, because of the pricing of the cars, of course, it's not possible just to purchase a car. Online, you need to provide some information. Uh, the transaction about certain amount of money is also going to be different. And in intermediary, if that is something that we do. So I have a question for everybody. Have you ever buy something online? Yes. Okay, tell me how was the experience? Was it good, was it bad and why? Was good for the price? For you, for was good for the price? What did you buy? Let me ask you. Uh, a wallet. A wallet, very good. And the quality and the wallet was good? The problem was the time. The delivery time? Yes. Oh, it took too much? Yes, maybe three months. Oh my goodness, three months. So you buy, you bought that one from eBay or something like that? Yes, I use AliExpress. Oh, AliExpress. Yeah, I have purchased some things there, and yes, it takes a while for and you to see them. More, it's more quickly, but it's more expensive too. Yeah, that is true. They have an option for you to receive that sooner, but also it's very expensive, so maybe it's not a good deal. Good. Any other experience? Any other opinion? Yes. Um, um, one month ago, I buy a computer in digital technology in, in the website. Okay. Um, 
and my experience was very good because uh, the delivery was very fast uh, because the delivery um, was around two days uh, bef uh, before, no, after, uh, after the, the buy. And the price uh, was more uh, cheap that uh, if I buy in the in the um, in the, the market or uh, in the store in the store and I compare the prices and I I see the difference and uh, of course I decide a uh, buy in the website because the price was very different very interesting very good may i ask you what website was that one i want to buy a, a computer <laughs> <laughs> in in that case it uh, was simam.com okay the very price good. was very different hi very, very different. yes Hi. and in in the day when i buy uh, todavía still still more uh, uh, 20 percent off uh, under the price uh, in the website imagine that was a very good deal yes yes for me it was oh my god <laughs> i it is my day because uh, for me it was very uh, a good surprise yeah, yeah, that is that is true. I mean, to to get a, a good deal for a good product, that is that is nice. Of course, one important thing is that Siman is like a very uh, everybody knows the quality on Siman, so it's a little bit easier. But the pricing sometimes is the one that you're looking for, so you got a big deal, so that is very good. Yes, the quality of the computer uh, it was well, it's very good because the the brand is very recognized and i and the computer have a good characteristic that i found why no i look for very good so that was a very good experience nice thank you lourdes um anybody else just want to provide an opinion The marketplace is e-business or e-commerce. For me, mm. e-business. Uh, it might be depending on the on the on the person. So, for example, some for some people, it's like I have these shoes. You want to buy it? Okay, let's buy it, and that's it. So that is e-commerce. But if the the person is asking you for to personalize things, so like shipping and things like that, so it can become a, a e-business. So that depends on many things. Depends not only on the website, but depends on also on the person that is selling the product. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else has an opinion? Okay, so let's move on. Um, let me just check here. So, um, yeah, e-business is short for electronic business. And it is the activity of doing business electronically. Of course, that is very, very easy. Uh, let's see. Ricardo, could you please read the number, the third bol uh, bullet point? Uh, uh... Effective. Yes, that's one. Yeah. It's, it's, it's short for a journey business. It is the, is the activity of doing business electronically. The effective user of, of information technology. Enable businesses to perform money business 
ACT, cleaning and AC. Easy. Very good. The mom's home for of Disney, Disney World, technology. The city or for many different purposes. Very good, perfect. Okay, so the third one says the effective use of information technology enables businesses to perform any business activities quickly and easily. First question, what is enable? Anybody knows? Enable. Is this is a form of polite. Is a uh, business in the e-commerce e different entre uh, e-business. Okay, very good, perfect, thank you. Okay. Um, the word enables, uh, does anybody know what is the meaning of enable, this word? Enable, what is that? Something active maybe? Okay, very good. Enables is like permit, it allows. Okay, so the effective of information technology, that is very important, information technology. Okay, enables business to perform any business activities quickly and easily. So these are adverbs. Do you remember adverbs? Because it's describing a verb, okay. And then it says the most common form of e-business uses web technology, definitely, of course. Websites are used by business for many different purposes, not only for this kind of situation, but for many things. And uh, we were checking before about the form, right? Which kind of businesses we have with e-commerce. So we have consumer to consumer. This is the first one, C to C. Okay, what do you understand on consumer to consumer? Anybody? It's like I sell, I sell something to you. We are not the price, we are not commerce people. Very good. That is it. So this is more like the marketplace on Facebook, right? You have, I don't know, you have a car and you don't want your car anymore. So you publish uh, there in Facebook pictures and the characteristics of the car. And other person, another consumer says, hey, I want to see your car and how much is it and where can I check it? So that is consumer to consumer. People, any people sells product to any other people, okay? So this is very common nowadays, very, very common. Okay. I can retail it, teacher. I'm sorry? I can, re I can retail it. Wait, retailers are not part of this no. uh, because retailers are company that their purpose is to, to sell goods. But when we say consumer to consumer is anybody, I mean, Lourdes sells a car to Walter. So that is consumer to consumer. Not a company, no company involved. No person, not to us. Yeah, that is it. Very oh, good. Okay. Okay. The other one says business to consumer. So that is the B2C. Business to consumer. So that is probably the most common, right? Like Lourdes that she purchased a computer from Simán. So that is Simán to Lourdes. So that is business to consumer. Okay. So that is the B to C. Any questions with this one? Okay, the other one is government to consumer. Here in El Salvador is not that common, but sometimes it's possible. It's possible for you to purchase. For example, sometimes the government, they sell their computers because they need new, newer computers in their offices. So they sell the computers at a very nice price. So sometimes that happens. The government sells things to a person, to any person. And that is G to C, government. How do you say subasta when the that government makes? Uh, yes, that is auction, an auction. 
And that is true. Sometimes, I mean, if you go, um, I believe that you know, but if you go to the Ministry Hacienda, uh, you will be able to see there a lot of things that they have that they are going to sell, right? So there are cars, whiskey, clothes, shoes, computers, anything that you may want is going to be there. So that is an example of government to consumer, G2C. Okay, the sure. other one, I'm sorry, go ahead. No, no, no. Okay, good. Okay, the other one is consumer to business. Oh, this is the other way around. I mean, imagine that you have a car and a company, they need a car just like yours. So it's possible. It's possible that the consumer sells to business. Sometimes in this case, uh, is uh, uh, the most common is that they, uh, the people, they sell services. Okay, for example, imagine that you, you have a company and you need a teacher, an English teacher for your company. So there are people that are going to come and say, I, I will teach you because of this pricing, this methodology, this schedule. So you can hire that person and that will be consumer to business. So that is C to B, consumer to business. The other one also is very common, business to business, B to B. So that is, for example, when a producer sells products to a retailer. So here goes the retailer. So it's a big production, a big company sells products to, to Walmart, for example, or any other retailer or wholesaler. So that is business to business. Or also the, um, the way that, for, for example, when you are going to produce something and then the company um, needs a supplier, a vendor, so that is business to business as well. That is B to B, business to business. The other one it says government to business. So this is when the government sells products, but only to a business, not to a person, not to a consumer. And that is G to B. I guess that is very clear. Consumer to government, most likely with services. With services, sometimes that is possible. And that is C to G. Business to government is very common. That is very common because the government, they need services and they need products. So yeah, the government is going to hire a company for services or get some products so they can get those. And government to government also is possible. Sometimes one ministry sells things to other ministry. So that is also possible. That is G2G. So these are like uh, the ways for e-commerce. So there are many ways that we can have a product, consumer to consumer, business to consumer, anything of those. Uh, do you have any questions on this? Can you repeat consumer to business, please? I can hear that. Okay, consumer to business is when a regular person sells something to a business, any business. So that will be it, C2B. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? In government to government issue. Yeah, that is when, for example, ANDA sells products to guys. Ah, Cars. Between. No. Between yeah. government. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's something like that. Relation uh, between government. A dependency of the government sells to other dependency because, you know, there are many departments, many companies within the government. So it's possible for them to sell to other uh, because they have their own autonomy sometimes. So that might happen. Yeah. Yeah. Good, good. Okay, thank you. Okay, a little bit more about that one. So, uh, yes, it's like business to business. Business to consumer, uh, business to government. I'm sorry? Uh, there was a problem on the connection, I guess. No, I was... no, no. 
not able to hear very clear. Okay, so these are some examples. So for B2B, we can have supply, for example, the ones that I was telling you. A company provides uh, supplies for to another company so they can produce another product. So that is to supply, uh, supply chains. This is chain, okay, but chain. And wholesalers, for example. That, those are examples of business to business. From business to consumer or to consumer to business, public bidding, you know what is to bid? Bid or bidding, that's the word, bidding. So this is like the, the question that Susanna asked about an auction. When, for example, um, a business sells, I'm going to sell this car and uh, we're going to start in $1,000, but the person that bids the most is going to get the car. So bid is like push with money. It's like when you say, I give 1,200, I give 1,300, I when give- you, When so, you offer a price. When you offer, yeah, the value okay. for the product. So that is bid bidding in an auction. So that is an example that can happen for consumer to business. Marketplaces, of course, and auction. That is the word, auction is that when you are bidding in, a, in an auction, okay? Auctioneers, uh, when you are pushing with the money, right? So that is bid or auction, good. Put the price, put the price. Yeah, when you, when you give, uh, when you provide a better price than other people. So you're bidding, right? The other one, uh, government and business tax and fee collection is possible too. That is an example for uh, this one. So sometimes because of some product they pay with taxes or things like that. Consumer, uh, that is B2C, retailers, goods and services, that is very common, right? Uh, C2C consumer public flea markets, for example, like, like, well, that is exactly what Facebook marketplace it is. It's exactly that one. It's a public flea market. Uh, G2C government to consumer, also tax and fees collection is an, a good example. A government to uh, business to government, contract, contract bidding and privatization. We don't like privatization, <laughs> but sometimes that happens. Yeah, sometimes it's possible. Another example for consumer to government is public government auction. So auction, remember that is when you push with the money, with the price. I give more, I give more, sold to the person with the gray shirts or something like that is an auction. And the last one for G2G uh, budget allocation is an example for that one, okay? So there are many ways that we can sell products that we can check into that one. And this is like more explanation about that one. So business to business, like Alibaba, uh, that is business to business because they sell in quantity, right? Those are like retailers. Um, business to consumer, like Amazon or Walmart. That is a very good example. So business to consumer, Amazon or Walmart is a good example. Um, this one is business to government, private sector suppliers of services. Like for example, when the government, they want to buy computers, right? So they look for a company and the company provides the computers for a price. Web-based applications, databases, services that they may need. For when you business- pay service, uh, Excuse me, when you pay service, the government, like a certificate uh, born, Maybe mm, that will be uh, government to consumer. Yeah. Because you're paying for a service to the government to give you something. So it comes from the government to you. Okay, so the next one it says C to be consumer to business. For example, an individual who has something to offer, bloggers, hiring websites, so when a company needs a website, they hire a person 
to provide that service. That is a good example. Consumer to consumer, like action websites like eBay. eBay is consumer to consumer, marketplace. And Facebook is consumer to consumer. Consumer to government auctions. That's the only way I guess that that can happen, the auctions. Government to business, online collection of taxes and fees. So that's again, the, the example for these two. And the last one, government to government, documents exchange, sharing public administration registers, things that you can change or exchange to the other part of the government is possible. So these are examples. So you check into this a little bit more into that one, okay? okay I guess I have, let me check. Oh no, that's for tomorrow, okay. And we're gonna read a little bit more about four traditional types of e-commerce business model. Now we know what is B2C, C2C, G2G. So we know, we understand that one. So we're gonna read a little bit more about this. So now this is your turn. Uh, Osmin, could you please read the, this part? It's okay, teacher. If you studying and the commerce business uh, are your fight into the into uh, less one of these four general categories. Very good, perfect. Okay, okay. okay thank you. Odds, uh, do you know what it's odds? Else, I know. Anybody knows what is the meaning of odds? My God, it's like hmm, the forecast. Like a forecast, yes. Sometimes it's yeah. like a yeah. Mm. Yes. Yeah. I, so I remember. I remember one song again. So loud, but I don't. Okay, yeah, that is a nice song. Actually, that song is like obstacles. Uh, yeah, in, obstacle. In, yeah. In, in that, in in this case. Mm -hmm. In that case, yeah. In this case, is like uh, chances. Chances are that you mm -hmm. fall into at least one of these four general categories. Okay. Okay. Um, also, mean could you please read the second one as well? It's okay, did you know? It has is benefit and change and many com many companies operate op operate in in excuse me in several of this category simultaneous simultaneous very good perfect so each has its benefits of course and challenges and many companies operate in several of these categories simultaneously. So this is interesting. So sometimes you are B2C, but sometimes you can change to C to B. So you, you are not going to work only in one category. Sometimes you can become other category. So that is very interesting. Carla, could you please read this part? Um, part number, number one, uh, knowing. Uh, is that its benefits? No, below. Ah, oh, okay. Knowing what bucket your big idea fit in will help you think creatively about what your opportunity and treats might be. No matter your state of growth of business model, this commerce can position your business for its maximum potential if you're interested in learning more contact cell to request a demo. Okay, very good. So this is an introduction, okay? Uh, an introduction about this part. It says knowing what bucket. So do you know what is a bucket? Bucket. Anybody knows what a bucket is? It's a, I think it's a, but I don't know how do you say it? recipient? Recipient? Like a recipient, yeah. 
Very good. So yeah, it's like a recipient. So because there are four buckets. So there are four categories where you can fit in. So knowing what bucket your big idea fits, fits in, this is together to fit, help you think creatively about what your opportunities and threats. Ah, threats, what is threats? Anybody knows? Like a deal. Like a, it's like a deal. No. No, that is streets without the edge. Ah, yes. Streets, yes. Street. And this street. is threats. In Spanish, amenaza. Okay, very good. So it's something that is a menace, something dangerous, something that is not good for you. So it says, uh, you uh, help you think creatively about what your opportunities and threats might be. No matter your stage of growth or business model, big commerce, uh, well, this is uh, about the company, right? So we're gonna read about B2C, business to consumer. Um, Sandra, could you please read this, the first part? Me. Uh, Sandra Mendes, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, now we have two Sandras. B2C business to consumer. B2C business sells to the end user. The B2C model is the most common business model. So there are many unique approach under this umbrella. Okay. So B2C businesses sell to their end user. So it's business to consumer, right? The B2C model is the most common business model. So there are many unique approaches. Okay, what is approaches? Anybody knows? Approaches, what is that? Scope teacher. Like a scope, very good. Is the way that you the way that you, how can I say, move towards the clients, the people, the consumers. So that is the approach. Uh, so many websites, many companies, they have different ways of reaching the market, right? Okay, uh, Lourdes, could you please read the second one? Hearing anything? Okay. Anything you buy in an online store as a consumer, Think wardrobe, household supplies, payment is done as part of a B2C transaction. Very good. So it says anything you buy in an online store is as a consumer. Uh, think of wardrobe. Do you know what is wardrobe? No. Dress now. Okay, it's about clothes, right? Uh, so yeah. this is about clothes. Very nice. Uh, household supplies, that is supplies for your house, entertainment, anything is done as part of B2C transactions. So almost everything is about that one. Okay, uh, the next one is going to be for Walter. Okay. And then the decision making process for a B2C person is more than Sorry, the business, the business, B2B purchasing, especially for it this had a lower value. Very good. What do you understand on this paragraph, Walter? Excuse me, teacher. What do you understand about the, the paragraph? What, what is the idea that you got? Okay. <clears throat> Uh huh. So, what do you understand about the paragraph you read? About everything here. So, in this one, the one that you read, did you get some ideas? I don't know. Okay, no worries. So, it said the decision making process for a B two C. What is B two C? Do you remember? 
business to consumer. Business to business. B2C is business to consumer. So, uh, yeah, for a B2C purchase is much shorter. So why it says here that the decision making process for a B2C, for business to consumer, is less complicated, is shorter, is faster than the one that is business to business. Okay, that is the idea here, especially for items that have a lower value. Very good. Rose, could you please read the next one? This one. Okay. Think about it. It's much easier for you to decide on a new pair of tennis shoes than for your company to bet and purchase a new email service provider or food category. Good. So what do you understand on this one? Is more easy buy for a for a customer? Uh, yes, One it's like yeah, a, the decision. Uh -huh, go ahead. Like in price for your business, I think. Very good. So yes, it's easier. Uh, look at the example. It's much easier for you to decide on a new pair of tennis shoes than for your company to bet and purchase a new email service provider. So shoes is something that is easy for you to decide, but a service for your company is more complicated. Okay. Uh, let's see. The next one is for Anna Selmy. Okay, teacher. I'm sorry, I am driving in this moment, teacher. Oh, if you're driving, don't worry. No, no, uh, it can be something dangerous. So don't worry. Let's see, uh, then uh, Adriana. Okay, teacher. Because of this solar sales cycle, B2C business, businesses, Typical spend less marketing dollars to make a sell, but also have a lower average order value, value and less recurring orders than their B2B co counterparts. What did you understand on this one, Adrian? Um, I don't understand, teacher. Okay. It says because of this shorter sales yeah. cycle, it is the business people spend less marketing dollars. So what it says here, so that the companies that is that are business to consumer, they spend less marketing dollars to make a sale. So they invest less money, but also have a lower average order value. That is true because you are going to purchase one or maybe two pair of shoes, not that many. So that is the difference and less recurring orders than their b2b counterparts there are no words here and it says and b2c doesn't only include products but services as well we know that you understand that one jasmine could you please read uh, the next one here b2c Hello, Jasmine. She's at the store getting coffee. Okay, Wilfredo. Okay, Ricardo, go ahead. Okay, uh, B2C innovation have learning technology like mobile app, Nike advertising, I remarketing to marketing directly to her customer and market the life easy in the product. Okay, it's perfect. A faci facility is a product uh, the customer in the company. Okay. For me, opinion. Very good, perfect, thank you. So it says B2C, that is business to consumer. Innovators have leverage technology. Yesterday we were talking about leverage. Do you remember what is leverage? What is to leverage, my friends?
when you want to obtain the maximum advantage. Very good. Yeah, when you want to push something and optimize a process or a product or anything like that. So it says B2C innovators have leveraged technology like mobile apps, native advertising, and remarketing to market directly to their customers and make their lives easier in the process. So it's going to be, as Ricardo said, easier. It's going to be very easy for us to see online products and purchase them. And then it says, for example, using an app like Lawn Guru allows consumers to easily connect with local lawn mowing services, garden and patio specialists, or snow removal experts. This app that is local mowing mowing services is an application where you can go online and you can uh, get somebody to help you with the garden. You know, uh, this word, uh, what is it? Uh, uh, mow the lawn, uh, this one. Mow lawn, it means that uh, when you cut the grass of the garden, that is that activity. So it's going to be very easy for, for people to get somebody to help in the garden. Okay, and the other one says additionally, this is for Wilfredo. Okay, teacher. Additionally, yeah, please. Okay. Uh, additionally, home home service business can use house house call pros building software app to track employee route, text customers, and process credit card payment on the go, benefiting both the consumer and business alike. Good. What do you understand on this one? Let me see, teacher, if I understand or this text. Of course. Um, for example, I guess uh, um, maybe it is like a, when, for example, if I need some service in my, in my house, I can call for asking for help. Very good. Perfect. Uh, anybody knows what is plumbing? Plumbing. Uh, let me see. Not teacher. I don't have any idea. Okay. Plumbing is when uh, when you have problems at home uh, in the faucet. You know, when you open and you need water and there is yes. no water there, you call a plumbing service. So it is like a plumber? That is a plumber, yeah. So the plumbing ah, software okay. is like, good. Uh, it is, uh, for example, teacher, if I need uh, some repair in my, in my house, uh, repair or fix? Repair. Repair. Uh, this activity is, it is plumbing. That is a plumbing, yeah. The activity, the name of the activity is plumbing. Okay. Okay. Hey, teacher. Yep. Excuse me. What the meaning alike? like? Oh, that is a very good question. Anybody knows what is alike? For example, when we say I am alike with my brother, we are very alike. It's like similar. So in this case, uh, it benefits both the consumer and business alike in a similar way. Okay. In the okay. same. It's, yeah, it's kind of the same, kind of. Okay. Uh, you know, this software app is uh, very good because you will be able to track, to track employee routes. That is very similar to, to for example, Ugo, right? When you order food and you track, you track exactly where is the food, where is the food coming. So that is a very good thing. Very nice. Okay, and uh, on Sorry, the go. Teacher. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, we can use a light to compare to say my dress is a like. Can I say um, no? Yeah, you can say it like that, but it's a like with other things. You have to mention the other thing as well. Okay. 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 Very good. Teacher, oh, go ahead. Uh, um, let let me let me see if I, I understand or you. 
uh, when when I um, use this this word alike, like for example, it, it is like uh, if I compare, for example, me and my brother. Mm -hmm. Yeah, when ah, you okay. are when you're saying that you are similar, you can use alike. Ah, uh, okay. okay, okay. Thank you. Very, very good. Okay, this expression is very common also in English. On the go. What is on the go? In the place, in the moment? In the moment, right now, on the go. So, very good. That is it. Okay, the other one is B2B, business to business. Um, let's see. Susana, could you please read the first part? Okay, in B2B business model, a business sells its products or service to another business pumping the buyer is the end user, but often the buyer resells to the consumer. What did you understand on this? I need it again. <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, go ahead, yeah. So it says in a B2B business model, a business sells its products or service to another business. Sometimes the buyer is the end user, but often the buyer resells to the consumer. I think like in my in my company, when I pay, when the company contract service the phone, for example. Very good. That is, a, that is business to business. Good. Okay, uh, let's see. Um, who hasn't read? Anna Salmi. Could please read the next one, this one. Yes, teacher. The recent B2B. Mm -hmm. Oh, B2B transaction, yeah? Yeah, that's the one, B2B transactions. Yes, B2B transactions generally have a longer sales cycle, but higher order value and more recurrent purchases. Very good, what did you understand on this one? In, is normally that the model, the B2B, is um, there are more sales because the, the cycle is, in, I understand, uh, how do you say, is more recurrent? Recurrent, yeah. More recurrent, the transaction, the commercial transaction. Okay, yes, actually this is like, um, uh, I mean, you are not going to have orders every day, right? In the mm -hmm. other one, in the first one, every day you can have many orders, but small orders. In this one, maybe you are going to have one order every week, but it's going to be higher order value, meaning that the order is going to be for a thousand products, for example. So that, that is something yes, very good. because the relationship the B, B2B is more, um, how do you say, uh, alliance? Yeah, alliance. It, yeah, mm -hmm. that's a, very good. Mm -hmm. Perfect. The next paragraph is for Guadalupe. Hello, Guadalupe, how are you here? Uh, what is yeah recent b2b innovators recent b2b innovator had made a place to dance sleep sleepless themselves themselves by replace catalog and order ship with the e-commerce storefront and improved targeting in night Niche. Mar Mar niche market. Very good. So what did you understand in this paragraph? Mm. I don't know, teacher. Okay. So it it's a, a, yeah. So in the past, a, what it says, uh, maybe the key word here in this paragraph is this, replacing. So now the people have replaced catalogs and order sheets for 
storefronts, so like websites where you will be able to check the products and also improve targeting in niche markets. So that means that now these products are for people of 20 years old. This one is for people of 40 years old. This one is for people in the mountains. So they are going, they have improved that kind of selling products to different people in different uh, targets, let's say. Okay. It's a new, new product. It's a new way of selling. Ah, okay. Teacher, what is Nietzsche? Uh, Nietzsche in this case is like bucket, it's like a category or something like that. Okay, the next one is for Sandra Romero. In 2020, close to half of B2B buyers are millennials, nearly double the amount from 2012 as younger generations enter the age of making business. Transactions B2B selling in the online space is becoming more important. Good, what did you understand on this one? Um, that nowadays um, the buyers are young people than old people. And uh, in now the younger generations are doing more business than in the past because as nowadays we have a lot of platforms to buy things or to you know exchange things or buyer or selling something that is true i mean younger generations they they are more into uh, the platforms they are more online sometimes they don't even like to go out or something like that so they are this is becoming very important. Very good, thank you. Uh, we're going to stop for a while because we need to check the attendance. Oh, we have full house now, that's good. Let's see here. Ada Patricia Linares Galdames. Present teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good, for you is the 101 today, Adriana. Okay, teacher. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Jasmine Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Morita. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Verónica Vázquez Present. de Río. Ah, oh, very good. Carla Present Verónica teacher. Vázquez, ok, thank you. Eh, Lourdes, Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here, teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Solórzano. Present, teacher. Good. Pamela Beatriz Posa de Reina. Good evening, present. Of course. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present, teacher. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm here, teacher. Good. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramirez. Present, teacher. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Yeah, Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present, teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. Present teacher. Good. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Perfect. So. Let's continue with the class. Oh, it's not this, but this one. Okay, so now we are going to move to the C2B, consumer to business. Uh, let's see, this is going to be for Sulma. Okay. Uh C to B, consumer to business. 
C2B business allowed individuals to sell goods and service to companies. Continue. Yes, please. In this e-commerce model, a site might allow customer to post the work they want to be completed and have business buy for the opportunity. Affiliate marketing service will also be considered C2B. Very good. So what did you understand on this one? It is similar to the example you explained before when you when you for normal person sell to think or your uh, service to the company for example you teach a uh, one uh, activities to the company for example uh, teach english you say or sell uh, anything uh, things good perfect Actually, the word that is very important here is bid. So sometimes they, uh, the businesses, they say, we need a person that creates a website for the company. And uh, you can send, uh, anybody can send like a proposal. I can do the website, this size, with these videos, with this pricing. And they bid for the opportunity. So they push, right? They are bidding for that one so they can get the opportunity. Uh, it says, Elance now Upward was an early innovator in this model by helping businesses hire freelancers. So do you know what a freelancer is? Someone Professional for his own. I'm sorry. Professional independent, independent. Yeah. Independent, Independent professionals, very good. Mm -hmm. uh, someone, someone who is working for his own. Exactly, for uh, working for your own, right? So you are not part of a company. You are a, an expert in something and you are offering your services. Good, perfect. That is a freelancer. And nowadays it's very, very, very common to find people like this. I mean, online you can find anybody that can help you doing anything. So it says the C2B e-commerce model's competitive edge is in pricing for goods and services. So the, uh, yeah, the, the competition there is, is kind of difficult, right? Because a lot of people can, anybody can, can push for this one. Let's see, the next one is going to be read by Michelle. I guess it's not possible, Anna Michelle, right? Jose Ernesto. It's not possible. Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Okay, please read the next one. Okay. I day sees to be a commerce model compartees great is increasing for goods and service. I this approach, I wish consumer and the power to make never either freeze or have lucine. I did think compren cut I took me a great need but rests in a in a room has created user ideas model. I do colleagues, uh, companies, I do social uh, media influence, I do marketing, I do product. What did you understand on this one, Ophelia? Uh, this is re renovation de, del, produ del producto de la compañía. In English? Uh, renovation um, a company is pro product. Okay, very good. 
Yeah, it says okay. this approach gives consumers the power to name their price. So in this case, you are going to be able to, to set what is the price of your, of your services, right? Or have businesses directly compete to, the, to meet their needs. It's a little bit complicated, but it's possible. Recent innovators have creatively used this model to connect companies to social media influencers to market their products. So this is something that is happening a lot today. A lot of companies, they are looking for influencers so they can push, they can market their products, right? In the past, it was done only by uh, Hollywood stores and people like that. But now influencers, they... They, uh, they have the power on that one. So I don't see any good or any word here. The last one is uh, C2C, consumer to consumer. Pamela, could you please read the first one? Sorry, what? Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, it's going to be this one that it says AC2C business. Okay. AC, A, A, sorry. Uh, AC to C business, also called uh, online marketplace, connects consumers to exchange goods, goods and service, and typical ma typically make their money by carrying. To oh, transaction yeah. or listening fees. And this next one. I know, I, no, 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 that is fine. Thank you. So okay. what do you understand on this one? I see to see business. Um, well, in this case, maybe we also, and, um, about the transaction as money, you can also do with a, a different uh, exchange with an order product or service a different as uh, when you go to a store and you need to only uh, make a change about with money. Okay, very good. Uh, yes, so uh, as you see here, uh, the most common name of that one is a marketplace. Anybody can sell anything to anybody else's and connects consumers to exchange goods and services. So as Pamela said, it's not necessary that you are going to sell the product for money. Sometimes you exchange things, right? And uh, I mean, that will be it. Uh, the last two is going to be for, let's see, Mayra, I don't know if it's possible, Mayra. Uh, maybe not, Nelson. No teacher. I'm sorry. No. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. In the online, online yep. business. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. Online business like Crane Climbers and eBay pioneer this model in these early days of the internet. Please continue. C2C business benefit from self prepare properly grow be motivated by it being buyer insider but face of the key change changer not sorry challenge mm -hmm. in the quality control in the technology maintenance 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 okay okay so it says online businesses like Craigslist and eBay pioneered. Why is pioneer? When you are the first, the first developer. Very good. When you are one of the first that are moving towards that one, right? So you innovate and now everybody's following you. So yeah, eBay is one of the first that made this one. So if you if you go and buy something in eBay, you are buying to another person, not to a company. There are companies there that they sell different products, of course. But the main purpose is that anybody can can sell anything to anybody else's in the world. 
So that is very good and very interesting because it's something that uh, is, it helps you buying many things. It doesn't matter where you are, right? And it says uh, C2C businesses benefit from self propel growth by motivated buyers and sellers. So that is the most important here, motivated buyers and sellers, but the face, but face a key challenge in quality control and technology maintenance. So these are challenges here, quality control, because if one person sells to another person, you are not sure about the quality, right? So that might happen, for example, when you buy an eBay, sometimes might happen that the product is not what you believe is it. And technology and maintenance. So for example, yeah, you won't be able to be sure that everything is going to be exactly what you need. Um, okay, well, let's continue with this one. This is the D2C, direct to consumer. That is a little bit different. Uh, Rose, could you please read the first one? Okay. Uh, by, cutting out, by cutting out the middleman, a new generation of consumer brands have built loyal followings with rapid growth. Please continue. Online retailers like Warby War Parker and Castor serve the standard for vertical disruption, but brands like Lossier are showing us how D2C can continue to be an area for innovation and growth. Very good. So uh, what did you understand on this one? This is kind of easy because of the topic, I mean, D2C. Mm, they are talking about a uh, vertical uh, yeah. uh, communication description. What is a description? I don't remember what is a description, but uh, they talking about the loyalty. Loyalty. So this is like direct to consumer, so with no intermediaries, right? Remember when we were talking about logistics that we were talking about retailers, wholesalers, and things like that. Here, we don't have any of those. It's direct okay. to consumer. Okay. It's like a one <laughs> Yeah. That's me it. and me, my product and my, my client. That is it. That okay. will be. Like Coca-Cola. Like those, they have some retailers sometimes, but the product, I mean, the product is something that is, is everywhere, right? <laughs> good, good. So number two says white label and private label. That is going to be for Carla. Number two. Yes, please. White level and private level. To white level is to apply your name and brand to a dense's product purchased from a distributor. In a private leveling, a retailer here is a manufacturer to create a unique product for them to sell exclusively. With private leveling, and white labeling, you can stay learning your investment in designs and production and look for an age in technology and marketing. Good, what did you understand on this one? Uh, in a, in a wet, white level is when you, is when you have your product or your generic product portion from a distribution uh, is when you have a, a slow for a distribution to sell your, your product. In a private level or retail hair manufacturers to create a unique product for the sell exclusive, uh, exclusive uh, um, a channel for for a, a seller product. Okay, yeah, those are kind of different, right? So the white label is when a company gets many products and they put their name, their brand in those products, 
and you say, oh, but this is for that company. It's good, it's good. But they just apply the name on the product. On the other hand, in private labeling, some companies, they hire a manufacturer so they can produce one product just for them. I mean, it's like a, a contract. It's going to be exclusively, nobody can produce that for other company. So it's going to be very, very, um, how can I say? Yeah, exclusively is we the word. Actually. Yeah. Teacher, we, we heard talk about a big company with a big, budget for distribution and sales abroad. That, that is it, so that is it. So whenever you identify we need to sell this product and it's going to be just for us, and you hire a, uh, a company for you to, to produce that one for you, so it's going to be that specific white label and private labeling, that is it. The other one is something that we know already. Ada Patricia. Okay. Who's, who's selling? Wholesaling. Uh, who's selling? In a wholesaling approach, a retailer offers the its product in bulk at a discount. Who's selling is a tra traditional um, B2B practice, but many retailers have offered into the budget conscious consumers in a B2C context. Good, what did you understand? No, teacher. No, okay. This is something that we discussed even in the last module, right? Wholesaling is when a producer sells the product to a wholesaler or a retailer. And then you go, to this wholesaling like Walmart, for example, and you purchase their the products. But Walmart, they do not produce those. They just sell, they resell the products. So that is wholesaling. So that's why it says that is a B2B practice. It's a business to business. Okay, drop shipping. This is going to be for Walter Morales. Okay. And <clears throat> what was the factor in growing the method of it come is draw shopping. And physically the shopping market in sell it and possibly be a real party and super light. A large spread or a quick food and drop cheaper at a mainly maybe and corner it and buys to manufacturing. Easy to use store. A lot comes uses to each one inventory. Puedes subir la pantalla, teacher, que no la veo. Of course. Thank you. Okay, please picture. And men and be connected and buy it to manufacturers. Easy to use store along with commerce, uses to enter an inventory and from supplied around the world for daily storefronts. Good. What did you understand on this one? Drop shopping. Drop shipping. Drop shipping. I know on the strategy. Okay, so this is a very easy concept. Uh, drop shipping is when companies they do not offer the products to wholesaler or to consumer. They offer that to other company, and they are like the intermediary that they are going to uh, show you the product. So that is it, right? So um, yeah, AliExpress is one of a good example of that one. And the last one it says subscription service. Um, let's see, Adriana.
Okay, teacher, subscription service. As early as the 16th, Six, yes, 1600. 1600 S. Publishing companies in England use a subscription model to deliver books monthly to their loyal, loyal customers. We in first business are going beyond periodicals and fruit, fruit of the month club. Today, virtually, every industry has seen to arrival of subscription service to bring convenience and serving customers. Very good. What did you understand on this one, Adrian? Mm, it's a um, model, actually. And can, can you, uh, when, I know. Uh -huh. It is a model and I is a model um, and I use the company and for the um, okay on the bring that provide I provide uh, on and service and the before in the subscription and that teacher. Okay, perfect, Is thank it? you. Yes, go ahead. Is Is it? Uh, an example can be the member selection of, of price mark here. Yeah, that is something that is under subscription, right? Very good. Uh, anybody, uh-huh. It's a subscription service, it's a membership. Exactly, it's like a membership. So for example, for entertainment, nowadays the most common is for you to get a subscription to Netflix, Amazon, HBO. So that is very popular. So it's a, it's a, it's a membership, it's a building, it's a client uh, perfect, yeah, so that is it. I mean, subscription also is very popular right now, but there are many other models. Depending on the products and services, this might work. Okay. okay. Good, good. Do you have any questions before we move on? If you don't have questions, we are going to start with the book today. So unit one, uh, this is e-commerce, okay? Uh, and it says, I will be able to differentiate advantages and disadvantages of e-commerce. In the number one, it says, let's start. Do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What do you think, people? Luca. Uh, yeah, the question is, do only physical stores limit the chances of growth for retail stores? What do you think? In actuality, it's not. Okay. So it's, yeah, I guess you're right. So it's not. And it says, what do you like about shopping online? So what is it's, good? This year, uh, I think that both style uh, store have a different advantage. For example, if you have a, 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 store, a physical store, you have more uh, pay responsible. It's an advantage in sales online because unless do you saving the rent, Per, mo per month, the, the, the benefits is, is more big. 
it's, uh, yeah, it's totally it's bigger. Okay, nice, good. And uh, the next question says, do you prefer it over going to the store? So this is a question for everybody. What do you prefer? To go and shop on a physical store or online? If you choose one, what do you prefer? I, well, for me, I think it's very go to the store because you have the opportunity to see the product that you are going to buy. And if mine, if you are buying clothes, um, you can um, wear the clothes and, and make sure that you are going to fit in, in the blouse or, or maybe on the skin. Because sometimes when you are buying online, you can see the size, but sometimes it's different. And when you receive the product, it's not the same and, and, and you don't fit in that. So because of that, I think it's better to go to the store and, and watch that you are going to buy. Very good. Perfect. So yeah, that is a big advantage, right? You can see, you can touch, you can, if there are clouds, definitely you need to, to feed and check how do you look at yourself. And also you can see many other options, right? Because when you are in the store and you see, oh, that is good. And that is good as well. And I can see that one. So that is a good advantage. And sometimes, but it's fashionable to buy online now in this time. Yeah, it's very easy, right? So it's like, oh, I want to check sometimes this. Sometimes we can disappoint. <laughs> but the product. I prefer but, going to the store. You prefer to but, go to the store? Yeah. Good. Yes, and, and, and yes. I also, if when you are doing your, nowadays you can buy uh, your, your souvenirs online, like uh, Walmart has a, a website to buy online. But if you see the website, you don't have the same op options that you have when you go to the supermarket. Yeah. Because in the at the supermarket, you have more options to buy uh, instead of the, the website. So I think it's better to go to the store. Okay, very good. Yeah. It's, it's winning the sure. Go ahead. For me, it depends because um, in, in a specific uh, departments of a, of a store, for example, is very is very good. Go to the store, but if you buy, uh, for example, a food and you um, know the company, for example, you need a, to to buy a pizza, you can. Uh, buy in delivery and it's it's good but it depends of you can buy i totally agree on you i mean depends on what you want to buy right so yes. yeah for for example for clothes definitely for me it's better to go to the store right um but remember also that there are things that you are not going to find them here in El Salvador, right? There are things that are only in the US, in Europe, in China, in Japan. And sometimes you say, okay, I'm gonna give it a try and see what happens. So it depends on many situations. Sometimes it's yes. a risk. It's a risk, teacher, because shopping online make, uh, make you, uh, you can distrust because you you have to to put your numbers of your card, mm -hmm. and sometimes I think I think twice. <laughs> yeah, I don't have many money at the bank, but I I think twice. That is true. Frauds. In, in my case, teacher, depend. But for convenient, I prefer the shopping online. But for entertainment. I prefer physical store. <laughs> oh yeah, that is very good, right? <laughs> that is, yeah. Uh, yeah. When, yeah, I remember when I, I had Me some. Uh, go ahead. Uh huh. Sir, in my case, I I, I like uh, shopping online, or oh, depending on the, the, the situation, in the situation that COVID nineteen is better on shopping online. OK. 
Okay, very good, perfect. So yeah, I guess that everybody has their own opinion. I believe that everybody, sometimes we have purchased something online. And uh, well, the advantage here in El Salvador is that uh, we can find many things here, right? Many, many things everywhere. So uh, you can take the options and check what will be the best option for you. So we have a conversation as usual. I'm going to read, check the pronunciation, okay? And then you are going to practice. It says number two, Lucas is telling Saul about his plan to open an e-store to sell his handicrafts. Take turns uh, practicing the conversation with a partner. Handicrafts, what is handicrafts? Homemade something made by hand. Very good. Things that you made by hand, right? Not machinery, you do it yourself. Very good. So. I'm going to read the conversation and then you are going to practice. It says, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes a consumer disappointed. So do you have any questions about Pronunciation. Um, twenty four seven. Twenty four seven. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any other automated? Is that automated? Automated. Automated. Actually, automated. Drawbacks. Drawbacks. Yeah. Drawbacks. Okay. Any other question? Handicraft. I'm sorry. Handicraft. Handicrafts. So in that word, handicrafts, we have to mention, we have to pronounce the F, the T, and the S. Handicrafts. Any other question? Disappointed. 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 Okay. Any other question? Okay, let's practice then. We're going to start with Carla and Ada Patricia. Okay. Me, Lucas, Ada. Yes. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit use here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your product 24 7 through and automated platform. And they are also able to compare products and price. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage in your product. Then there is the risk or shipping arrive in bad condition or not arriving at all, which make consumer disappoint. Very good. Now, Rose and Sandra Gladys. Okay, Sandra. Okay, for me. Okay. My friends and the world like to start an e-commerce site for our handicrafts 
they sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who can eat it use here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and prices. What do you mean about are there any drawbacks at this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and the storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes consumers disappointed. Very good, nice. Now, Lourdes and Walter Araujo. Okay. I am um, Lucas. Okay. Walter. And, and the Are you ready? Moment. You start. Okay. My friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at a farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many advertisements to his con with size for instant consumer and can buy your products 34 7 and throw a home platform and they are also able to compare products and price that's exactly what we need but are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing well you may want to let a different company in the end of shipping in the story of your products, and then there is risk of shipping arrive in bad condition on a right uh, at all with making consumer. This is point. Very good, nice. Now let me check. This is gonna be Anna Selmi and Ophelia. Lucas. Ophelia, are you Saul? Okay. Okay. I mean, my, I mean, sorry. I'm, perdón. <laughs> Work. my friend, I could like to start an e-commercial website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see I there I many I I I dust her I do in a commercial I visit I for instance a customer I I can I buy you a pro, product I um, 24 7 three seven uh during in Automar, a platform, and they are also able to compare a products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are they any drawback in this e-commerce commerce, if you think? I will do my, I, I went to let a different a company. I hold in this shipping in a store of you product. I des I then I there is the piece of shipping uh, arriving is but a condition or no arriving at all I wish market a consuming disappointing. Okay, good, thank you. Now, Jasmine and Ricardo. Are you ready, Ricardo? Okay. My friends and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our 
country crush, they'll sell well at the farmer's market. But we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many alpines to an uh, economized bicep. For instance, customer uh, can buy you products in for four percent seven uh, to an automatic platform and they are also able to compare products and price. That's exactly what we need, but are there any drugs to these e-commerce things? We do man what to build a different company, product, the shipping and store or for new products. They there is the risk of shipping arrive in a bad condition or not arrive as all which micro consumer decide from. Very good, nice. Now Guadalupe and Susana. Okay. I go to the Lupe. Hello, Guadalupe. Sorry. Okay, I start. Okay. Okay. My friend, and I would like to start an e commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer market, but we went we want to sell the to, to people who does who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customer can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform and they are also able to compare products and prices. That's exactly what we need. But are, they, are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all which make consumers disappointed. Very good, perfect. Now, Osmin and Adriana. Okay, tell you please, Adriana. Okay. Uh, my friend and I would like to start an e-commerce website for our handicraft. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers uh, can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform, and they are also all able to compare, compare products and price. That's exactly. Uh, that's exactly what we need. But uh, are there any draw, drawbacks to this in commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the, uh, the shipping and storage of your product. Uh, then, here, then there is the rights of shipping arriving in bad condition and not arriving and all, which make consumer disappoint. Very good, perfect. Now, uh, Wilfredo and Lourdes. Okay, may I start? Hello, Lourdes. About Lourdes did it already, right? I don't remember. Okay. Okay, okay yes, so- Yes, but okay. I don't know. No, that's fine. Yeah, Sandra Romero is going to help you, please. Wilfredo and Sandra. Okay. I'm okay. Okay. May I We're start? Going to start? Okay. I'm okay. Okay. Go ahead. Um, my friend and I would like to start an e commerce <laughs> website for all handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer's market, but we want to sell to people who 
down visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customers can buy your products 24-7 through an automated platform, and they are also able to compare products and price. That's exactly what we need. But are there are any uh, drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and the storage of your products. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which makes customers disappointed. Very good, perfect. Now, Zulma and Gloria. Okay. okay. You start, Glorita. Okay, my friend, and I would like to start an e-commerce website for out handicrafts. They sell well at the farmer market, but we went to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see there are many advantages to an e-commerce website. For instance, customer can buy your product 24-7 throughout an automatic platform, and they are also able to compare product and price. That, that's exactly what we need, but are there, are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your product. Then there is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all, which make customers disappointed. Very good, perfect. Now, Pamela and uh, Michelle, are you here? I guess it's not possible, right, Michelle? Uh, let's see, Pamela and uh, who hasn't read? Everybody has yeah, read. Yeah, I'm Lucas, right? Uh, yes, you're Lucas. And let me just check who is going to help you. Um, everybody has read, but anyways. Uh, Walter, could you please read about Saul? Yes. Of course. Uh, my friend and... I would like to start an e-commerce website for all handicrafts. They sell well at farmers market, but we want to sell to people who don't visit us here on the countryside. I see. There are many advertised to hit calm website. For instance, a customer and can buy your products and 24-7 and progress an uh, automated platform. And they are also an enemy to compare products and price. That's exactly what we need. But are there any drawbacks to this e-commerce thing? Well, uh, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and store of these products. And then there is the risk or shipping a right in bad condition, uh, or not a right at all with making consumer at this point. Very good, perfect. So let's check some uh, pronunciation things. Uh, remember that this is e-commerce. Uh, the e at the end, we don't pronounce that one. You, we don't say e-commerce, it's e-commerce, okay? Um, handicrafts, handicrafts. Let's see, people, at uh, this word is us. Don't visit us, okay? It's not us, that is something different. So don't visit us. Uh, let's see what else, advantages. This is a plural, advantages. That is important. Uh, let's see, by products through, through an automated platform and they're also able to, uh, let me see. So this is platform, not platform. That is Spanish, platform. Let's see, drawbacks, thing. 
Remember the pronunciation of the TH thing. Uh, it says you may want to let a different company handle the shipping of storage of your products. Then there drawbacks. is a risk. I'm drawbacks. sorry? Drawbacks. Drawbacks. That is drawbacks. Something like that. Drawbacks. Uh, let's see. Risk. This is risk. And that is it. So let's be careful on the pronunciation, okay? And just to finish, we're going to check the exercise here below. What, why does Lucas want to start an e-commerce website? Why? According to the conversation. Because he wants to sell the people don't visit his store. Exactly. He wants to, to sell to people who don't visit there in the countryside, he says. So he wants to, to, to expand the market. He wants to go beyond. Very good. Number two, what are the two advantages of e-commerce according to this? Their product will be open for buying 24-7. Very good. That's the first one. Product will be available 24-7. And the other one? About the information because the customer can compare the information related to prices in, in the, the characteristic of the product. Perfect. Those are the two. And then it says, what are the two disadvantages of e-commerce? What would be it? Uh, there is, is, the, is the buy the 24 7 is the risk of shipping arriving in bad conditions or not arriving at all which Those makes consumers disappointed that is it so there is a risk of shipping arriving in bad condition or not arriving at all of course if both are very bad actually both are very bad Okay, uh, let's check some vocabulary. Let's see, handicrafts we know that already. Market, sell, uh, countryside. Do you remember what is the countryside? What is countryside? Of course, in English. Countryside, uh, where the place? Excuse me. Place? Yeah, yeah, countryside is the opposite of the city, right? So it's there in the countryside near the mountains near the forest things like that so that is the countryside uh, in the middle is the town and then is the city let's see through an automated platform let's see what else i guess there are no more words a uh, drawbacks uh, what is a drawback drawbacks are disadvantage disadvantage very good nice uh, and then it says, well, you may want to let a different company handle the shipping and storage of your products. Then there is a risk. What is a risk? How do you explain that in English? Risk. Something dangerous. Good. Something dangerous. Something that is, is going to harm our business, right? Do you have any other questions about this one? Okay, so we have started the book already. Tomorrow we're going to continue. Uh, before we finish, is there any question for the class of today? No question, teacher, thank you. Good, so my friends, let's check the attendance and then we are going to say until tomorrow. So, Ada Patricia Linares Galdame. Present, teacher. Good. Adriana Stephanie Martinez Flores. Present. Good. Ana Selmi Chavez. Present teacher. Good. Carmen Yasmin Lopez Martinez. Present. Good. Gloria Elizabeth Linares Galdames. Here. Good. Guadalupe del Carmen Lopez Flores. Present teacher. Good. Jose Ernesto Osorio Morán. Carla Veronica Vázquez de Rivas. Present teacher. Good. Lourdes Beatriz Iraeta de Miranda. Present. Good. Ofelia Orellana Arce. Here teacher. Good. Osmin Baires Olorzano. 
Present teacher. Good night. Good night. Pamela Beatriz Posada Reina. Good night. Okay. Rosa Elena Salgado de Serrano. Present. Good. Sandra Carolina Romero Ramirez. I'm Sandra, here, teacher. Okay. Sandra Gladys Méndez Ramírez. Good. Susana Carolina Hernández Iraeta. Present. Good. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Good. Wendy Patricia Molina Duarte. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. Good. Zulma Rosaura López García. Present. Good. Ricardo Alexis Fuentes Rodríguez. Present teacher. Good. Flor de María Carballo Ugarte. Nelson Edgardo Sánchez Ramírez. That is kind of transplant. Fine. Thank you. Ana Michelle Guevara Sánchez. Present. Good. Mayra Melanie Guevara de Beltrán. Present. Good. Okay, my friends, it was a pleasure to be with you today. I hope you have a very nice night. Sleep very well. Dream in English and see you tomorrow. Okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Good night. Bye bye. 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 See you tomorrow. See you Walter, tomorrow. Walter, nice to see you again, Walter. <laughs> Good. Hello, Adrian. How are you? Hello, teacher. Fine. And you? Very well. Waiting for the rain. I, I guess it's going to rain today. So. Yes. And, and only, only. Hi. Principio. Starts. Starts. Uh-huh. Only start the, the rain. Oh, really? Yes, yeah. And Me, um, I uh, fast uh, for the clothes is. <laughs> yeah. But, uh -huh. Like the typical in El Salvador, right? The rain, the clothes. <laughs> yeah. The, <laughs> yeah. the clothes. Uh -huh. <laughs> that is true. But anyway. My son is is very intelligent when when the he hear uh, the rain is the same, mom. The cloud. Ah, he knows already. And that that, uh -huh, the little. Mm -hmm. the, okay. The little stuff. <laughs> very nice. Very good. Uh, okay. So how are you? How has you been? Have you practiced English in the vacation? No, teacher. Sincerely. No. <laughs> in, in, I, I, I am. I am bad. Why? In in this moment, not I don't have motivation. Mm -hmm. In this last model, I don't have motivation, and because I have problems in the um, uh, ah, okay, I, uh, I have class uh, only compromise compromise compromise. I have compromised. No, 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 that. And sincerely, sincerely for me, it's only, oh, okay, and, and I am subscribing in the, in the class, because I go, uh, or I, I have in the class. For, okay. mm -hmm. Why do you believe that happens? Why? Por qué? Ajá, pourquoi? Um, I, I, in beginning, mm -hmm. in beginning, and for 
problem personal with my family. Mm. Uh, when, uh, um, and with my my children is very is very difficult. Uh, I concentrate. Oh, yeah, uh, it's that's that's that for me is 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 um little problem. And uh, I'm me me I me desconcentra. Me desconcentra. I'm focused. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, that happens. I know that. Uh, sometimes it's very difficult because you work and then you have the family and then you have your things that you're thinking mm -hmm. and life has some problems um but you are very advanced right now so you need to my suggestion for you is to continue practicing i know mm -hmm. that it's a little bit difficult because also the english is for work i mean there are topics this uh, this book or, or this level is going to be a little bit different. We're going to see some things, but we're going to practice some other things. So I'm going to change some other things so we can practice in a different way. Um, my best suggestion for you is that whenever mm -hmm. you have the chance to speak, okay, uh, provide or give an opinion, uh, mm -hmm. you can practice in that way, you speak, you say, I, I, don't, I don't like that, I like this, I don't understand this, please repeat. Mm -hmm. So um, the topic is not that difficult like the other one that we had in the last module. That, that was a little bit difficult, but this one is not going to be like that. It's going to be easier. It's about online e-commerce and things like that. So we are going to be able to discuss or to, to do a debate in the future, things like that. So whenever you have the chance, Try to practice. Remember that sooner or later is going to help you. It's going to help you for anything. English is amazing because of that. It's going to help you in many ways. Maybe you don't know, but it's going to be there for you. So if you have questions, remember that you can chat with me directly or uh, you can chat in the group. If you have questions, also you can ask me here in the class. And uh, the best is to practice. That's why we are here, to practice, right? Yes, teacher. I, I, I am constantly, and uh, I go, and, and more, and uh, for learn English. Yeah, it's important. It, it, it's it, because, I, I am bad. Uh -huh. Sometimes that happens. There are moments in life, but we need to move on, you know? Um, there are bad days. It, days. Uh -huh. I, I stress out. I am stressed. Stressed out, yeah. Stressed out. And for my classmate, is is in is much is my class is much bon is more that um talking mm -hmm. um, total mm -hmm. tall and, and your ideas easy in my oh my god difficult sorry <laughs> my stress of yeah, but relax. You need to go to the beach and relax <laughs> and then come back. Very nice. Uh -huh. Yes, okay. teacher. Very good, Adrian. So it was a pleasure to be with you. It was a very good practice. Um, if you need anything, I'm here for you, okay? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Okay, and good. yesterday I said in the, uh, uh, the say this get with problem with on um, my platform. Ah, okay. It's not teacher, um, and yeah, no. Not anymore. So it's not working. Uh, no. Uh -huh, yes. Um, no problem. Mm -hmm. Very good. I'm happy about that one. Thank you very much. Okay, teacher. Okay. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you. Bye bye. Okay. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good Thank night. you.